Hello again guys, last week I showed you how to photograph some water splashing into a wine glass. So today to stay along some similar topic lines, I thought I'd show you how to photograph some water droplets. Now there are many ways of doing this and it does vary with some equipment prices as well. But today I'm going to show you two of my favourite ways of doing this and they're really easy and cheaply set up. So let's go ahead and take a look at what you'll need for this project. Okay, so to start us off, we've got a small tripod here, and that's going to be where I place this camera on. Um, I'm currently using the Nikon D3200, so I'll be placing that camera there for our photos. Then I've got a bag of water, and that's slowly letting some water drops out, as you can see there. And that's simply being suspended from this tripod handle here. Um, below it, we've got our main area. We've got one tray of water that's currently overflowing with water so this second tray here is basically just catching any water that flows over it um, and behind it we've got this flag and that's just giving a nice reflection onto the water so when we come to photograph our water drops we get a nice uh, reflection on the water which will add some colour to it it doesn't really matter what uh, background you use just I'm going to use this flag for this example um, and then behind this white uh, nylon cover and the flag is currently being lit by this 400 watt halogen lamp. Okay so for the, our first technique I've already shown you our uh, setup for this um, so we've got a tray of water ready and our water drops coming down and we're simply going to use the reflection of our flag um, to add some colour to our photos. So what you want to do is set your camera to manual mode uh, you're going to want a exposure of one four thousandth of a second, um, aperture f5 and an ISO of 800. Um, so on uh, autofocus, you're going to want to get some kind of item like a pen or a spoon in this case, and wherever your water drops are landing, you want to place that item and then focus on it, like that. And then once you've focused on it, switch to manual focus and then you can fire as many photos as you want and you don't have to refocus it every water drop that comes down. So once you're ready, try and time your photos with the water drop. Let's have a look at those two. Using this technique, you can really get some good detail out of your photos. As in mine, you can see that my water drops are slightly off centre, but that doesn't seem to matter because the detail is still there you can even see some of the flag in, inside those water drops. Let's go back to the studio and I'll show you my second favourite way of photographing water drops. Okay, so as you can see, we've got a very similar setup going on here, except this time I'm using a glass. It's got some blue food colouring in it, mixed with the water. Um, personally, I really like this effect because when the camera lens is level with the top of the glass, you get a, a uh, clear water drop reaching up out of the colour so um, to do this, similar, similar way of doing it, on autofocus, just focus on where, roughly where the water drops are coming out, then switch back to manual focus, and then on manual mode again, we're using one, uh, a shutter speed of one four thousandth of a second at f5.3 and an ISO of 400. Now the reason we're using a lower ISO is because rather than having the light um, spread out on this screen here, reflect off the water and into the camera lens we've just got the light coming off the screen and straight into the camera lens so we're going to have a brighter image if we kept it at the same settings so whenever you're ready take your photos in time with the water drops just missed that one there there we go, so let's have a look at some of those ones now looking at our second examples you can really see how the glass and the water drop compare to each other in size in this photo especially, you can see so much detail, you can even see some small air bubbles inside that top water drop. In this second photo here, you can see just where I missed that split second where the water drop hits the actual water. It looks as if the water drop is just balancing on top of the water surface. That's it for this week guys. Um, as you can see in front of you, I'm just going to leave you with some other photos I've taken using the exact same techniques as I showed you today. So thanks for watching guys, hope you liked the video and I hope to see you next time. Bye.